Hi guys, welcome to our channel Codes Up. Hope everyone is doing great. So in this tutorial, we are going to create a static table using ng4 in Angular. So before starting the tutorial, please do like and subscribe to our channel so that you can't miss the important updates. So without wasting more time, let's start the tutorial next. So first we have to create a new Angular project. So let's create a new Angular project named custom table using command ng new custom table. So as you can see that it takes a time so wait for few minutes so that it can build the project successfully. Uh, let me forward the video to save the time. So as you can see that uh, we have built the uh, compile the program successfully. Now since for the Angular project I am using visual code editor so let's start the project by typing code dot in command prompt. Now first go to the source folder under which go to the app folder, open the app.component.html file and delete all the components of it. So now let's create a header of our app that is my custom table. So after creating the header, uh, now create a basic layout for the table that you created in HTML and CSS. So that is table and we have to specify the row for a header. Uh, we declare a headers in the basic layout and after that we have to declare uh, sections for the rows. So after initializing the headers uh, uh, header section and the row section that hold the variables that hold the values coming from the ts file. Now let's move to the file app.component.ts.file and define headers and rows that are in .ts file. So initialize headers variable holding arrays of table columns. The columns in the header variable are ID, name, age, gender and country. So after initializing the headers variable that hold the array of the table columns, now initialize the rows variable that hold the array of table rows. So each row consists of object of column names. Uh, the object contains ID, name, age, gender and country. So let's uh, create some rows for the table. So let me write multiple rows for the table so that let me skip this session to save that time. So we have created 8 rows for our table. So here you can see the objects of each row in form of headers component. So let's go to the app.component.html file. So for that part we have to use ng4 that is built in method in Angular to iterate through arrays. So let's first create headers column of table using ng4. Here let keyword is used to initialize a variable named column. The OFF keyword is used to iterate through each element or object from headers array that is declared in the .ts file. So for displaying the header column, we have to use the data binding in Angular that is using double curly braces. Since we have defined the header section for our table, so let's move to the row section. For row section, for displaying, we have to iterate through our rows array. Since rows array contains the objects of headers column. So, to extract each column from that object, we have to define one more ng4 in td section to iterate through each header column for each row. So, 
so for adding row entry we have to bind the data to our, our table using curly braces that is inside double click curly braces there is a row uh, which have an index column column as an index now we are done with creating table using ng4 in angular so let's start the server using ng serve command or npm start command and see what we have created so let's the wait for the project to compile successfully once it compiles successfully go to the browser and type http colon slash slash localhost colon 4200 so as it's taking a time to compile let me forward this section uh, so without wasting a time that it compiles successfully so as you can see that it has compiled successfully uh, now type the uh, address uh, that I have uh, mentioned before that is localhost column 4200 and see the result as we can see the table is successfully created but it doesn't seem to be good in visualization so let's add some CSS to our table so it looks little better for that go to the app.component.css file and style your table so let me skip this part and directly add CSS to the file. So now we have successfully added CSS and saved all the files. It automatically compiles the projects in the background. So now let's check the browser again and now our table seems to be a little better. So hope you guys like the tutorial. Feel free to drop any comments in the comment section below. Thank you.